Yo, what up? Eusebius here, back at it again with another video. And today I'm coming to you with another art of the mentally ill. And guess what? I'm what the medical field would call psychotic. That does not mean I'm violent. That does not mean I'm dangerous. That just means I exist in a state known as psychosis. And psychosis, essentially, is a disconnect from reality. So what does that mean? Well, glad you asked. <laughs> there I go, talking to myself again. What a grand example of psychosis, but no, that, that was a joke. I did, don't take don't take it seriously. <laughs> psychosis is a disconnect from reality, which means you experience things, perceive things, hear things, believe things that aren't based in reality. So an example of that would be visual hallucinations, which you will see something that isn't based in reality, that only you see. And well, another example would be hearing things, auditory hallucinations, where you would hear things that aren't really there. So, with that in mind, this is Art of the Mentally Ill, and in Art of the Mentally Ill, I create art that portrays a certain aspect of having this disorder is like. So, without further ado, let's get into the art. This is what I like to call the pill. So, what is this? You're probably looking at it and you're very confused because it's one of the more abstract ones I've done, but trust me, I do have a purpose. So, as you can see in the very back over here, you have these um, switching lines, blue and a grayish um, aqua-ish kind of color. So those two represent the worst drug I've ever been on, which was Zipracidone or Geodon, which is an antipsychotic. I take it not only because I rely partly on medication to keep me from experiencing the full brunt of my symptoms but also as a means to help control myself when i do experience those things and i do kind of lose control this white and gray represents the white and gray pill that i took for geodon and i absolutely hated it i hated it hated it hated it it made me so extremely tired it felt like i had just pulled four all-nighters no matter how much coffee I drank, no matter how much energy drinks I had, no matter how much I tried to pinch myself or bite my tongue or anything to try and stay awake, I couldn't. And my teachers noticed, and I got in a lot of trouble. And I had to explain to them, the medication I'm on knocks me out. I would take four scoops of pre-workout and still knock out in the next five minutes and stay knocked out until 1 o'clock in the morning and not being able to go back to sleep. So, that is Geodon. That is the one on the very bottom. The one over here, white trailing into sort of a purplish-bluish, is what I like to call Propranol, which is a beta blocker, but I think it's also an anti-Parkinsonian. No, it's just a beta blocker, which essentially means it helps with my anxiety. I have extreme paranoia and I do act on it times at times and it is not pretty. So, and this final one over here is what I like to call the new age. Why is it the new age? Well, it comprises of one, two, three, four drugs, and each have their own sort of um, reasoning as to why I made it like this. I tried to make it like a globe, where you have a globe and then you see like the structures of like land around it. But basically, this right here is what I like to call olanzapine. Olanzapine is one of the drugs that has made me so much better and I've tried it twice and I'm currently on it and it works wonders but there are times when it when it really affects my mood because I get very passionate about things. Now my parents don't like it when I get passionate about stuff. When I start to get passionate about oh we need to get the dog a dog bed because we have a dog and I don't want her in her kennel all day and all night. I want to get her a dog bed so she can sleep with me outside of her kennel. And my mom started yelling at me saying, all this time you spent in a psychiatric hospital, all this time you spent working on it and you still can't talk to me with respect. And I tell my dad that I get passionate about certain things like... I don't like the way you treat me sometimes, and he tells me, oh, you know, you're just throwing a temper tantrum, you're not using your coping skills, shut up. So that is why it is red, but also kind of having this glowy, um, shiny aspect. 
I wanted it to symbolize a drug that has saved me from self-harm multiple times. Even though it made me extremely emotional, and even at times I did self-harm, but at the same time, olanzapine was one of the drugs that kind of kick-started something in my head that made me realize this is wrong. As I cut myself with the razor, I know that's a little bit graphic, but as I cut myself with the razor, seeing the blood sort of switch something in my head, and that switch only occurred when I was on olanzapine. This is what I like to call risperidone. Now, it is a very thick part of the globe shape that I wanted to create, and that is because this specific part is something that I've wanted to represent having a long period of time throughout my recovery process. Risperidone was one of the drugs that I've been on for nearly a year. And it honestly, it honestly just didn't really do much. In the beginning, it helped. I ex was experiencing intense auditory hallucinations. And when I would experience them at school, I would take my emergency dosage and it would help. But it wasn't, it wasn't as good as I knew that it possibly could be so i i urged my doctor hey can we go up on this dosage and she just decided to take me completely off it and send me to a mental hospital this i like to call abilify abilify is one of those drugs that is well those are also antipsychotics all of these these four are antipsychotics Abilify is a drug that gave me extreme akathisia. Now, what is akathisia? Well, when it comes to antipsychotics, there's a thing known as dyskinesia or dystonia. This is essentially involuntary muscle movements. And akathisia is a very, very low but consistent and never-ending need to move. A restlessness, an anxiety. Sometimes it's so intense that it drives people to commit suicide and it's a very scary thing. And I hated Abilify because it gave me that. It gave me akathisia. It gave me, I felt like I always needed to move. I couldn't sleep at night. And that's a big reason why I took propranolol, which is why I have so much around over here. And this, finally, is what I like to call... Hold up, it's coming to me for a sec. Is what I like to call lithium. <laughs> what is lithium? Well... Lithium isn't an antipsychotic. I, I, I messed up in the past. Uh, only these three are antipsychotics. This is lithium, and it is not an antipsychotic. Lithium is a mood stabilizer, and it works a lot with people who have bipolar, but especially uh, bipolar 1, because bipolar can have psychotic features, and lithium can really help with the psychosis and with the mood swings. But anyway, I like to call this larger part lithium because... I've been on lithium for so long. I'd say maybe almost two years by this point. And it has worked wonders. I experienced something known as mania, which is an elevated state of mind, an elevated mood where you're extremely happy and reckless. And I've spent hundreds of dollars worthless down the drain on stupid shit that doesn't matter. And it is... <laughs> Let me tell you something. It was not fun. It was not good, <laughs> but um, I take a dose of lithium in the morning and I take a dose of lithium at night. So um, one is lithium ER and one is just lithium carbonate, which ER means extended release, meaning it will release slowly over time. And the other one doesn't do that. I think your body metabolizes it all at once, but I'm not a medical professional, so don't take anything I'm saying as actual medical advice. So yeah. So that was Art of the Mentally Ill. If you have any questions, leave them in the, descri in the description. Leave them in the comments below. In the description, I always have emergency contacts if you need to talk to someone. And I have my accounts down there, so you can go click on one of my accounts. It'll take me to a page, whether that be Twitter or Instagram, and you can DM me. So, without further ado, I hope you all have a good day or night, wherever you are. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, shoots. A hui ho malama pono.